Hey guys! So today is the two week mark. I had Ava Luna two weeks ago today and I had my two week postpartum checkup with my doctor this morning. So I just wanted to update you on everything that's been happening this week since my last update at one week postpartum. Um, I don't know how I forgot to mention this in my last update because it was such a big deal, um, but the day that they released me from the hospital on Saturday, March 4th, I came down with a really, really, really bad headache. Um, that's happened to me before after getting pain medicine um, through an IV. Um, a couple days after or like the day after getting off of that um, I would get like a really terrible headache and so I kind of anticipated it this time but mixed in with all the hormone changes and all the other things happening I wasn't sure of what to expect plus I didn't completely get off of pain medicine I was just switched from um, an IV to taking oral medicine so again I didn't really know if it would happen this time or what the exact cause of it was um, but I had a headache for like a week and a half I think it just barely went away like a couple days ago um, um, but it did finally start to go away and now it's just it just kind of comes and goes instead of being constantly hanging around and nagging um, I have had no appetite, which is, dryer is done. I've had absolutely no appetite, which is really weird because I am nursing, um, and she eats very snacky sometimes, and she, I feed her on, on demand. It's not like a schedule or anything, but she eats very often, and she started eating more and more. Give me just a second, I'll be right back. Uh, 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 uh. Say hi everybody. Say hi. There we go. So she is nursing quite a bit. Um, she's nursing often and sometimes it's kind of snacky and then other times she's she's actually eating quite a bit um, during a nursing session. And the times that I've pumped and given her a bottle just to be able to see how much she's eating, there are times that she'll um, drink as much as three to three and a half ounces in one feeding and then still be hungry an hour or two later. So I think she's definitely getting ready for that three week growth spurt that's coming up. So she's doing really well in that. But you would think, I mean, logically, that I would be starving at this point and not be able to like eat enough because I've got to be able to keep up with um, her needs but I'm not like I I'm just not hungry like nothing sounds good and I kind of have to force myself to eat I just have no appetite at all um, I am having to make myself eat though and eat good meals just because I know she needs it and I know I've got to be able to do that to keep my milk supply up and to give her the nutrients that she needs in my breast milk so that's been kind of weird I remember at this stage with my son with my second son that I was starving and just like couldn't eat enough and was having to focus on yeah I was having to focus on nutrient dense foods to make sure that I was getting the most bang for my buck. Um, but it's just been very different this time, so that's been strange. But um, in my last update, I mentioned that I did have my first bowel movement after coming home from the hospital, and it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, um, and that was great. But I did, after that, deal with some constipation. Um, it that's just never fun but I think just because of the pain medication and my body still trying to recover and get back to normal um, I did deal with that earlier this week so that 
that was awful. So in order to deal with that, the constipation and get over that so that I didn't have any other issues come up from it, I started using this that I mentioned in my last vlog. The Natural Vitality Natural Calm. It's a magnesium supplement. Um, my doctor is completely fine with me using that. It's perfectly safe while breastfeeding. And in fact, it's so safe and natural that you can even use it during pregnancy. I was approved for it during my last two pregnancies. Um, I drank two tablespoonfuls in like a medium sized cup, like an eight ounce, well, probably like an eight ounce cup of warm water in the morning before breakfast. So like on an empty stomach um, with nothing else, having had nothing else except maybe some water. Um, I drank that in the morning and that really, really helped a lot. I was able to start using the restroom without any discomfort after that. And um, that definitely helped me get over the constipation and now it's not an issue, so. Um, the swelling that I had last week did go down. I think about three days ago I looked down at my feet and realized that they weren't nearly as puffy as they had been. And I now have ankles once again. So that's definitely better. Um, I feel like it's gotten better all over and not just in my feet and ankles. So that was nice. Um, that took probably about 10 days to really um, start to go away and go down so that that was good like I said I did have my two-week postpartum appointment with my doctor this morning and I wasn't quite sure what he was gonna say or what all he was going to do and check at this appointment since I know it's it's still only been two weeks um, he did check my incision everything looks really great he was very happy with how everything was healing and um, he took one of the stair strips off because I didn't get staples and I didn't get stitches. I had the stair strips to keep it closed and they're put on um, completely like side by side, not quite overlapping, but there's no gap in between them. So it's almost like one continuous bandage sealing the incision. So he took one off um, toward the center and said that it's completely closed and that everything looks really good and that um, I could take the rest of them off like this Saturday or Sunday um, in, the, in the shower to get them really, really wet with some warm water and then um, just peel them off one by one this weekend. So today's Wednesday, so just in like give it a couple more days basically and then I could take the rest of them off. So that'll be nice because sometimes I think that some of the irritation that I get, especially with like my clothes, um, is because of they're still on there and it's not necessarily that the incision is that sensitive. I mean, it's pretty sensitive, but I think a lot of it is because those are still on there. Um, I'm not approved for anything, uh, like anything else yet, basically, except for driving. He said that now I can drive, but nothing else. Like I still can't lift anything heavier than my baby um, in her car seat. I still can't take a bath, I still can't have sex, I still can't work out or anything like that. Obviously like what I've been doing with um, the stationary bike or walking and like light activity like that is fine, um, but nothing like I was doing. So was doing like nothing like I was doing before and during my pregnancy. I'm still not there yet. So that's my update. Um, as far as my recovery goes, Ava is doing really, really well. Um, like I said, she's eating quite a bit, so I think she's getting ready for a growth spurt. She sleeps really well at night and during the day, really. She does really well for me. Um, I usually get up with her three to four times during the night, so I'll try to go to bed by, by like midnight, um, 11 if I can. But usually that's going to be when one of her last feedings are. So around 11, like 10, 30 or 11, she'll eat one last time. I'll get her diaper changed and let her burp and everything like that. And then I'll swaddle her up and put her in her co-sleeper. And then 
Um, she'll wake up again around 3, 5, and 7. So that's kind of, it's not really a schedule. It's just that's about when I notice she wakes up. There have been a couple nights when she gets up every hour to eat. So again, that's how I know that she's getting ready for a growth spurt is when she's eating that much. So every time she wakes up, I'll change her diaper, then I'll feed her and burp her, wrap her back up, and put her back down. And usually after nursing, um, she's out again. She's She falls right back asleep, so I'll burp her gently um, and make sure to get that up before I lay her back down, and then she's out and I can go back to sleep. So if I'm very... Um, quick about it I can usually do all that in 30 to 45 minutes so it's not it's not all that long and then we're back to sleep so that's really nice I'm getting quite a bit of sleep that way um, I mean more than I think you'd expect at this at this stage it's not uncommon for me to get like five or six hours of sleep um, all together through the night so I'm not napping during the day or anything because I do have my two other kids. In all honesty, like I really don't. I find myself having a lot of energy during the day, so it's nice and I don't really have to worry about, um, you know, falling asleep on the job during the day. So, alright, I will go ahead and show you guys the belly and um, I'll see if she'll let me put her down for just a second. And then I'll show you guys what the belly looks like at two weeks postpartum. Okay, so let me pull my sweater up here. And you can, you might be able to even see it a little bit better with clothes on. Um, I definitely still have, not necessarily a belly, but a pooch there. And this is what it looks like. But this is the belly for two weeks postpartum. And you can probably see some of the red marks because I'm still wearing the binder um, just so my pants don't hit my incision. That's still very, it's still pretty sensitive and especially with those stair strips on there like I was saying, I think it makes it more sensitive. So it's very um, soft. <laughs> I think there's still some water weight in there, but um, a lot of it is just the weight that I had gained during the pregnancy. Um, and I don't know if this is just a, a back view, just so you can see. Got my love handles going on. But there's that. And as you see, like it's like I said, it's still very soft. Um, and I've got some abdominal separation I can feel. Um, that'll eventually start to close up. That's called diastasis recti. And part of it is just it just needs time to pull those two two sections of muscle back together. And then another part of it is that I just I'll have to do some exercises to work on that. So I hope that this two-week postpartum update was helpful and informative for you. And I plan to do a, a video on nursing uh, at some point pretty soon. So if there are any questions that you have and that you'd like me to answer, um, just put them in the comments section and I'll do my very best to answer those in that video. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And please subscribe to my vlog uh, if you haven't already. And thank you for watching, and I will talk to you all next time. Bye.